Hey everyone, this is Jacob Schrodes. I'm getting over a little sickness, um, and I always hate when people do tutorials when they're sick, but uh, this isn't a tutorial, so I'm fine. Um, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of stuff that I've been trying out in Unreal recently, and uh, stuff I've been learning and how I've been uh, employing that into a little bit of a fun thing. So, first of all, I'd like to thank TCD's Done 5 my blueprint for this level is a word-for-word -word copy of his. Um, I would definitely not have it if I was not able to watch <laughs> and scrutinize every little bit of his blueprint for this. Um, but I've learned a lot doing it, and so uh, this is the most involved blueprint for an Unreal thing that I've ever done, so I'm kind of proud of it, even though it's uh, almost a copy-paste job, um, because I learned a lot while doing it, and uh, I think I can use it for a, a larger project, and that way it won't just be me copying someone uh, completely, but still, uh, thank you very much for uh, the tutorial on that. Um, so what we have here is a random level generator, and uh, basically every time I start the level it will lay out differently, and I've already incorporated a little a little projectile system in there that I did today. Um, there's nothing to shoot at yet, uh, no enemies or anything, and there's no minimap. I'd like to put a minimap in there, but um, I have the basic layout for the level running smoothly and looking pretty good, even though most of the assets in there are from Unreal. Um, and if we take a look at the different pieces, um, you'll see that I've laid out each kind of grid piece individually uh, so that basically I construct little bits of the level and then the level decides for itself how to put those together each time to make a different level so that uh, someone like me who's created the game can still have fun and not know quite how it's going to lay out each time I play. And uh, I think that creates a lot more replay value as well uh, for people who didn't actually work on the game. Um, so yeah, when there's enemies in here it'll be a lot more fun to play, but uh, I just wanted to kind of show <laughs> that I've actually done any kind of even pseudo-programming in Unreal. And uh, yeah, this is I think the most complete project that I've done in Unreal so far, and I hope to take this one a lot farther. I put a little chair at the end of the level as a placeholder. You just go up to the chair and you walk through it and then it says win up in the corner. That's just kind of like a note to self to put something actually at the end, like a treasure chest or something. And I would also like to create a lot more varieties of rooms, as they could be called, to to put in place of other rooms, because I only have one of each type of room. One room that's a corner, one room that is a straightaway, one room that it has a T-junction, um, one room that has a four-way entrance. So it'd be nice to have multiple types for the random generated level to choose from, so that we're not seeing the same piece over and over. Um, but I, I think it's a pretty cool project. I'm pretty jazzed about it. So yeah.